Hi guys, I'm Elle and you're watching Just Ironic. In today's video, I will be attempting to naturally tie-dye this old, ugly sweatshirt that I've never worn. I actually got this sweater five years ago when I used to work in a costume shop, but I've never worn it. And so I decided to dig it up and try to reconvert it into something cute and relevant and just cozy for the autumn season. As you can see, I am a dog. This is really not a good look. <laughs> so we have to do this. First, because I'm bored, and second, because what better way to save clothing from the landfill. So let's begin. So the first part is to remove all the dog patterns from this hoodie to get started. So now I have the blank sweatshirt. Finally, it doesn't have the dog pattern. It took me about 30 minutes to take it off. But now I'm gonna put this in blank sink water in a bucket and just let it sit for a while. It really will help it just get ready for the avocado mix. Meanwhile, this sits in water, I'm gonna do the avocado dye. Hopefully it turns out well because I have no idea what to do. I don't know the water ratios. I just have three avocados, so we'll see how the color comes out. Hopefully good, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna take these and put them in here. It's kind of half full as you can see. And then I'm gonna take my three avocado pits and place them in there. And I will see how they turn out. Wait, <laughs> there's a sticker there. Let me take those off. Look at it go. After two hours, this is how the water looked. It's simply just the water with the avocado pits and the avocado shells boiling on medium heat. And then I really liked how the color came out. It's like this little red tone and I thought it was pretty good. So I decided to take out all the shells and the pits so the water could be ready. And here is this water in the bucket. Sorry, the bucket is dirty and I'm gonna transfer it over. And then I just decided to fold over the sweatshirt in a circular fashion and then put the rubber bands around it, creating a tie-dye pattern. Really wasn't sure what to do, so I just kind of like winged it and just made sure it fit in the pot and then here, I transferred it to the pot and pressed it down so all the water can soak. And here I motioned that I would be turning it around so that all the sides would get saturated. So now it's the next day. I just let the sweatshirt sit with the dye water overnight and then I took the elastics off and I threw it in the dryer for 30 minutes. I think leaving it in the dryer for 30 minutes is something that will really help the colors soak into the garment and it will also keep the dye in there for a long time. Yeah, this is the reveal. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I can't even talk. Look at how pink it is. The only thing I didn't really like about it was this little stain right here that is too apparent. Um, and it's sometimes a little bit too much over here. But the only one that really bothers me is this one right here. So I'm probably going to embroider it with something else. I've been into Ash and Erwin songs lately and it has a lot of cool like graphic drawings that are like little doodles. So I may just like embroider a little doodle. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it. I'm really gonna make sure to wash this by hand just so that it won't get damaged and the color will last longer. And the other thing is, if you're curious, this is a men's extra large sweatshirt and it's 20% polyester and 80% cotton. So just try to have fun with what you have and just try it out. I really didn't know what I was doing and it turned out really amazing, so just try it out. This is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I make videos every week around sustainable fashion, so if you want to stay tuned for that, feel free to follow me. And hope you guys stay safe. Bye.